Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst, and today's happy is I thought we would actually do something with peaches and pinks and soft blushes and creams with a little bit more organic flair to it. And then last but not least, then we're going to do something that's more of the dark, moody reds and protea and red monster roses with a little bit of hyson. So I thought we'd do something totally from one extreme to the other. So the first we're going to make with is we're going to do some hydrangea. These are the soft pink hydrangea. These just came in, so they're still being hydrated. We're going to use a little bit of parvifolia. And then we've got a couple different shades of roses here. Of course, we have the shimmer roses, which are gorgeous. We've got a little bit of fresh mint. Then we're going to do some amnesia roses, which I, I keep trying to talk myself into liking these. <laughs> They're a little bit what I call muddy colors. And then we're going to do these quicksand roses, which I have grown to love these a whole lot. They're such a good transition between the darker colors and the lighter colors. And then we're going to do a couple of the pink O'Hara roses. And that's going to give us a little bit of fragrance and then a little bit different twist to it. We're going to use these dyed bleached billy balls and then we have some dyed peach. Oops, let me undo that one. I might pull all the heads off of this one. Pompous grass. This comes from Accent Decor. And then we've got this cool bleached fern. I'm sorry, I don't even know the name of it. It's so neat. So it comes in a bunch like that. So it's going to be one of our accents. So let's get started. How is everybody doing out there? Everybody's good. Everyone's saying hello and hello. happy Monday. Happy Monday. It's been a Monday for sure. So I think you're really jamming and slamming on the comet soda, aren't you? That could be a word for it. Yeah. So we're going to start with a little bit of Dusty Miller around the edge. Then we're going to take two of our, did I get two? Oh, yeah, I did. Here's the other one. Pink hydrangea. You know what? I was going to actually do something different today. I was going to make a big one, then I'm going to make a small one to go with it. So you can show how to do two things at once. So with that being said, we're going to use one hydrangea there. We'll use one here. Then we're going to go back and pull out one of each color of the roses. Except for maybe, we're going to do two of the quicksands. So that'll be our smaller version there. So with that being said, now let's go back. We're going to add a little bit more of the Dusty Miller. I'm going to go and add our Parvifolio. So if you bought on Comet Sold, first of all, we want to thank you so much. Absolutely. It was a wonderful sale. And Yep. We had fun doing it with y'all. We're yep. glad that we brought in the blue and white. Those were some really big sellers. Big seller, absolutely. Very popular. So if you did not order cornbread, then your order went out today. If you did order cornbread, unfortunately, <laughs> cornbread will be here in the morning, so you'll your order will go out tomorrow. <laughs> the girl's making the cornbread as we speak. Probably so. So that will be here tomorrow, and then they'll go out there. Everything is, I think y'all got everything packed already, don't you, Christina? Correct. And ready to roll. So, so I'm going to go back and start interspersing our quicksand roses, which these are so pretty now. And we are pulling the guard pedal. Someone asked the other day about the guard pedal. N not every rose has to have the guard pedal pulled off. It's only when the guard pedal looks blemished or turned down, that's when we pull it off. Sometimes... There's no need to pull the guard pedal off because it looks just fine. Another thing, too, did you realize on that love vase that they were bent to, in the box to, for shipping? Mm -hmm. So what? So those that bought the love wire vase, when you get your vase, you need to, and I probably need to show this on Wednesday, you're going to gently bend it back so love looks horizontal, and that will keep that vase from tilting over. Mom, can you go get one of those love vases so we can show it? Yeah. We're going to show you real quick. I didn't realize that until uh, Saturday we were we went through the stuff that we knew that we had extra of to, to get it back on the sales floor. And I realized it when I went to 
through the vase because I remember when we were doing the show on Thursday, the vase was tilted off to the side. It was kind of wonky jawed a little bit. So I realized you actually can just easily shape that back really quick, and that way it won't uh, look like it's falling over, which is a plus, right? That's a plus. Yep. You learn something new every day. So are these for arrangements, or what are they for? They are potentially things that are being made as a secondary backup on some of our menus. So if we run out of something, we'll have this to back up to as far as I can just pull this up and we'll run with it. So these are the amnesia. And the amnesia are what I call in that muddy color, meaning that it's a real... And of course, Nicole in the, in the design room, she, this is one of her favorite roses. She loves all these, what I call grungy colors. She's so afraid she's going to get on camera, she, she puts is. it on a chair and slides it over. Good Lord, Taylor. <laughs> anyway, so when we showed it, it looked like that. That's kind of cute. But the way of the flower keeps popping over, so all you want to do is gently take it like this, and that will bend it back, and your flowers will go straight in. Well, there we go. Good to know. So there we go. I felt kind of bad that I didn't show that. Because when y'all packed it, I just was showing flowers in it. I mean, nothing to it. But that's how really it should be for stability when you're doing flowers in it. Okay? So there's that one. So live and you learn. So I'm going to keep working on this one. So in this arrangement, we're going to kind of make the roses look a little bit uneven. I mean, they're not all going to be flat or on the same level. And that's going to give you depth. <laughs> Somebody said that they're waiting for the winter storm on Thursday. Well, I think well, we're going to get that too. We then. are too. We, it's either going to be a big hit or a big miss, I think. I think we're either going to get it really bad or not at all. So, or else they say it could be potentially rain. But we'll see. Well, I moved most of our meetings around yeah. so that we well, weren't going to be won't behind. Well, it definitely be as bad as I got it up in the East Coast. For sure. Let's hope not. So, there's that. These shimmers are so pretty. But I'm actually going to use these for depth because I want those lighter pink colors to kind of stand out more. A lot of people say they love watching your work. Oh, my goodness. So what's the name of the blush-colored rose? O'Hara. Which one? This Probably one? that one. The pink O'Hara. And it smells so good. It smells just like a rose. If you're talking about that other one, it's this quicksand. No, yeah, this one This in one front. is quicksand, and this one's called amnesia. And the desire says it's called amnesia because they want to forget about it. <laughs> So, I don't think that was very nice to that rose bush, but anyway. So now right. we're going to start adding a couple drives to this for a little bit more texture. So we have those. And we have our pompous grass. Okay, so you were talking about guard petals, and then you, you went shiny butterfly to this love vase. Uh huh. So, Sell so again about the guard pedal. Well, you don't always have to pull them off. So, meaning sometimes, I, I noticed that someone said, oh, you didn't pull the guard pedals off of one of the designs we did last week. It probably, it could have been that I forgot to do it, but sometimes they don't have to be pulled off. They're, they're, not, they're not damaged or had turned or like that. So, it really depends if it needs it or not. I'm actually going to put these in a little bit deeper. If not, it looks like bunny ears coming That's out. That's what I was kind of thinking. Like little antennas. So. Well, somebody asked, uh, what will the name <laughs> of this arrangement be? Well, it might be something about bunny ears. Bunny ears. Might be hop along. You never know. Hop along. There you go. <laughs> so now let's go back, and we're going to kind of clump our another. These could be the bunny noses. Yeah, could be. I can clump these in. Who'd have ever thought about bleaching these out, right? 
right. These typically are that bright yellow. I think it's in the yarrow family, really. <laughs> Somebody said you messed it up. I messed you know, it up. You know, with dried flowers, they might not like it. But if not, you can just think about it before all these dried fl yeah. flowers. Well, we're not even finished that. If you don't like that, hang on. We probably don't like what we to do next. But I know. anyway. I might need to close my eyes. Oh, come on now. With a little bit of mint in there. I love the, the way mint smells. Oh, here's the other one. Ta -da. Miss Linda, on the other hand, loves the different textures. Oh, well, good. So now we're just going to take this, and we're going to make a simple collar around the edge. And what you can do for more stability, you actually can take this piece and then layer it on top of the lighter piece, and that's going to give you more bulk. And plus, the, the, the lower the stem on the fern, the more stability it has or more weight or um, the thicker the stem is so it holds up better. Now you know you've been seeing this coming in on your wedding stuff. Oh, I know. I had a bouquet this past weekend in one of my meetings that was all of this bleached fern. Texture, texture, texture. That we'll use one more piece of this. So it looks like that. Isn't that kind of cool? It almost reminds me, and you definitely won't relate to it. In the late seventies, eighties, people used to get these preserved fern fronds and make ferns for their house, like arrangements. Did you ever get see those? Even before your time in it. Anyway, so and we used to have to work with it, and it came in a preserved fern. We used to make these big Boston-looking ferns for people's homes to hang in, in their macrame, which they can huh. do that now because macrame is back again. Stay around. It'll all come back around. Look, they already have us arrangements for uh, Easter. Miss Janie said it could be Some Bunny Loves You. Somebody Loves You. You know, there's a nail polish called Some Bunny Loves You. Really? Mm-hmm. I think it's like a white color. Once again, it's just all these soft textures. Right, one more over here. Then we're going to start on the dark one. Next. I was going to say, this arrangement, I think she, the clock might have gone out. You've been working on this one for a while. Huh? You might have been working on this one for hey, a while. Hey, slow and steady wins the race. That's right. So, anyway, so something... If you like all those organic textures. Something for everybody. Something for everybody, especially if you're that 20-year-old something. It really is pretty. There you go. Oh, so let's make the small one now. I bet I can make it faster. How's this? We'll see. So let's go back and take all of our little loose ends. Just like this. Boop. And we'll add a few more of there of those. So nothing goes to waste. The only thing that's going to be wasted are the pieces that we had to peel off of the bottom because we don't want any extra stuff. Would the dried the flowers have to be in water? No, not at all. That's the great thing about it. You could actually just stick those right in the top, the shorter pieces. You really don't waste a whole lot of anything. Do we have many weddings on top of Valentine's? Uh, not weddings, but three no, parties. We have, we have parties. We have parties Which I got a text this afternoon long. about that party. The one on on Valentine's on Day. Valentine's Day. Oh, great! They want to add more to this to this side credenzas. I, I would too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> go big or go home. Anyway, so now let's take our hydrangea first. Take all those leaves off. I'm actually going to break this one up. Did the bleach in the ferns affect anything? I don't think so. Of course, now that, they've, now that I've said that, they'll probably wipe it right out. But no, it shouldn't affect it at all. But I'm going to take this piece and add it back over here because I do think I need a little bit more fluffy over here, right? 
it up. So now let's go back and add our quick quicksand. I really am starting to really like these. Me too. They just come in so many different shades that sometimes it's not. I worry, like for weddings, what color will we get? Right. Like that looks more blushy, but sometimes they look more nude. Exactly. And there's just a good transition because of those really contrasting weddings that they want the maroon or the mm -hmm. eggplant. That's really a good transition between the white and the maroon because they also want white in everything, too. There's the small one. That went a little bit faster. Miss Mary Lou says that she's four times the age of 20, and she really likes it. <laughs> well, thank you, Miss Mary Lou, for the support. Because Lord knows I need it here sometimes. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to go back and do these fun colors of hot red, or just what I call tomato red. These are called red monsters. We've used these quite a bit. I better move that vase out of the way, shouldn't I? And then we're going to use some Safari Sunset. We're going to use two of these beautiful pink protea. I wish I knew the exact name of them. And then these fun hot pink hyson. A little bit of this maroon after dark. And then I added just a few of the red freedoms. So let's get started with this one. Miss Joanna asked, did we make the room bigger? It looks bigger. No, nope, it's still a little bitty shoebox. It's still the same. So let's crisscross this. With Everybody loved the little bitty one. Oh, good. It only took you two minutes and 40 seconds on that one. Okay. So I had to make you, up You time. made up some time. I had there. to make up some time. Kind of like a, uh, Indianapolis 500. We got a pit stop here, so we got to get going quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do have a meeting at three. Well, okay. A lot of. Turn it up. Turn it up. Um, turn it up. Huh? A lot of people are liking this color scheme together. Oh, well, good. Miss Kay says she loves that vase. Miss Kay, your order just went out. Is that pink mink protea? I get them confused. No, because the pink mink normally has that black edge, you know, that blurry black tip mm, to it. I know what you're so talking about. So I hate to say what it is because I don't know what it is, for one thing, but I also would hate to give you the wrong name. Somebody says this will be an expensive arrangement with the protea. Probably so. They're, they're not inexpensive, but they last forever. So let's take this fellow off. Like shucking corn. I was about to say, you're going to break an arm. <laughs> We're going to use that foliage in the middle. So let's go ahead and place those first. Like that. I'm going to take that other one. Oh, better dodge over there. Miss Julie says she has caught you live for the first time. She's from Cape Cod, and she's a huge fan. Oh, my goodness. I'm so glad to have you live. So now let's go back and add our Safari Sunset. That's going to be a good transition between the flowers, too, between the pink and the dark. Miss Sandy said that she dries her protea. Yep, you definitely can. A lot of our garden clovers love to use dried protea in their design competition stuff. Miss Sandra says hello from Snowden, Maine. They have 20 inches of snow. 20 inches. It's more than we, well, I would say that's more than we ever get, but we got that last year, didn't we? But that's amazing. I bet, wow. they, I bet they know how to live with it better than we do, though. Uh, probably so. Because Lord knows we lose our mind around here when it's snow. 
<laughs> well, I think everybody's losing their mind, and it's just a potential of a probably an inch of snow on Thursday. Yeah. So do you think that blue and white comments sold items that are waitlisted will be coming back? We actually have not even pulled the waitlist items to see if we can reorder. Uh, we will do that, and we'll let you know. Isn't it the, what was it, the base? Bases, you I just said that I have not looked at it. I don't know. Okay. We'll look. We'll pull it. Let me ask you again in about two minutes. Please do. So you feel I like would love for you to. So mm -hmm. you feel like you're in the right place? <laughs> Please. Do we overnight ship? We did not overnight ship, but it'll be there. Most of them said within three to six days, so you'll get it soon. I'm thinking the weather would be the problem. And in that case, overnight or not, it's still not going to make a difference. Well, that's what Mr. Barry said. <laughs> yeah. He said, you know, it's, it's shipping's just really bad right now. Yeah. Well, just like the cornbread. Cornbread didn't get here. Well. But it'll be here tomorrow. But that's why we wanted to do it when we did it, so we could have enough time to make it happen, right? Whoa, Miss Lynn said that they have 15 foot of snow in Tahoe. Oh, my goodness. Wowzy. Well, it's actually a beautiful day in Arkansas today. It's 72 degrees and sunny, and we just lucked out. But our weather is so unpredictable. We're calling for snow and sleet on Thursday and Friday. So, as we always say, if you don't like the weather in Arkansas, just stick around. It'll change. Miss Pat is watching from South Africa, and she said that these protea are called queen proteas there. Oh, fun. We've actually had, I guess you're right, because the kings have the points, the crowns, right? The bigger ones, the king protea, they actually zigzag at the top of them. So, awesome. Well, thanks for sharing. I totally had forgot about Ms. that. Ms. Pam says she bets the grocery stores here are already out of milk and bread. Probably so. You better get in your cro you do Edward's pickup, right? Yesterday. Oh, well, you're ahead of the curve. Mm -hmm. I got to go to the store either tonight or tomorrow night. I'm actually going to do a little bit of depth, and I'm going to go back and add a lot more of the after dark. So get a little bit more exaggeration. So what are these other red roses? Called red monsters. Red monsters. Red monsters. And it's kind of like a four-leaf clover if you look at it. Here, I'm going to pull this one. See the four points? We see it. So cool. It is a cool rose. The only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't really blossom open. It's just kind of... It's just there. Right. But still, that's a lot. But it lasts look. so long. It's that it's a lot to look. I mean, it gives you, you know, we've used these like for zinnias mm -hmm. in the summertime. We couldn't get pretty zinnias or um, dahlias, or even like sometimes you can use them like anemones. You know, Miss Christie said exactly what we talked about earlier. Bad weather now means hopefully good weather for Valentine's. Uh, been there, done that. Had the bad T-shirt. Oh, Lord, yeah, let's hope so. last year. Ooh. Well, not even, well, listen, before we'd had it, where I actually started the day of Valentine's sleeting and snowing, and they had already gotten all the kids to school. They had to get all the kids back out. And the city was in gridlock. And oh, goodness. Yeah. So, anyway. So, now let's go back and add a little bit more of a collar of our After Dark. That's going to kind of tie all these moody, darker colors together. Miss Nancy said she's wearing shorts today and tomorrow, but she'll be wearing long woolies on Thursday and Friday in Texas. I, I hear you. We get it. Miss Gloria said that these kind of look like camellia. The bloom? They do, don't they? Mm-hmm. Which are blooming now. I had someone ask us in a message about camellia, and they wanted to know if we sold them commercially. I've never really seen them sold the bloom itself commercially. I've seen the brand, the green resold, and sometimes there'll be buds on the branches. But as far as buying a camellia bloom, 
I've never witnessed it, but that doesn't mean that's not so. So you just never know. So last but not least, man, look how big these leaves are on this. Mm -hmm. It's huge. I love the that. Yeah. That green here is one of my favorites. So there you have it. I think we're done for today. So we got a little bit of fragrance in here with the hyson. And we got, of course, a lot of dark, moody colors. Turn it that way for you. Oh, I forgot to do the small one. Hang on. I'll take me but a minute. I gotta pull. I gotta pull. <laughs> hey, wait. What? <laughs> Shiny butterfly. Anyway, so <laughs> so let's take well, this. Look, one. we can't see. What are you oh. making? There we go. I'll we'll have to take a few roses out, but I forgot to pull them out. Oops. And I guess we need to start talking about that program I'm going to do in Wichita. For sure. But I need suggestions. On ask, what to make? I want to do. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> well, then when they called me, I asked, they said, we always want you to do a program. I'm like, on what? And they said, oh, just do about the happies and do it about how you survived during the pandemic. And I'm like, I don't know if everyone wants to hear about all that. But anyway. So any suggestions would be greatly appreciated, especially other people in the flower business. Any help would be greatly, greatly needed. Everyone said that these are all just amazing and beautiful. Well, good. I'm going to tear this one around that way. Terrace. What kind of word is terrace? I was just thinking, uh, like, what, what, what dictionary terrace. is that in? Yeah. Uh -huh. Super sweet and easy. Does this dark feathery filler dry easy? Normally, it's a lot thinner leaf, and when it dries, you really can't tell it. It looks just like dried grass, doesn't it? Have you noticed that? But this is so big. The leaves are such so much larger this time and more glossy. I bet it would have more weight to it. Because sometimes when I've seen it, it's just been like real, it dries real thin. But... I would think this would have a little bit of weight to it, wouldn't you? I don't think so. I mean, it's really, this is probably the prettiest after dark I've seen ever. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. It's and it's really very full. weighted and lush and full. All right. So I didn't forget. I saw I got it. I think I pulled it off. Anyway, so there you have it. It still looks good without that in there. How am I doing? Good, but now we got to go to a meeting. All right. Well, we will take care of it. Y'all have a safe one out there. We will see you on Wednesday unless the snow shuts us down, which never happened. Yeah, I take that back. It, two years ago, it did shut us down, didn't it? Mm -hmm. but hopefully, we'll see y'all. Hopefully not. I've been known to walk to work. Walk to work, school backwards, the whole bit. So anyway, <laughs> downhill. Anyway. We will see y'all later. We sure appreciate you. And y'all have a safe one, blessed one. See you Wednesday. Bye.